what is my own research which i uh, do during the poster and so that's the kind of just this kind of and some few case studies i can discuss and uh, few message for either your younger generation either master student or someone have some message that message will be the few slides and some of information i can give you in the last slide right so my journey uh, basically it's a poor what's it what so low middle class family and uh, i got to do to afford even to be one of them i have proper respect to that so we managed to only proper respect Basically, I go I go to school only for food. This is the information keep in mind. So this is the situation I grow up. That means I don't have money to buy anything from the shop. Uh, in this situation, I grow up with my I start with my career. Okay, uh, I must see something like college. And after I must see I join Chennai. Chennai is a big city. It has grown up to a high city. Uh, so we are given lot of opportunity there. We are given a great center. At that time, I used to get the thousand five hundred rupees for for my monthly expenditure. So with that money, I started a bachelor of education instead of not a teacher's education, it was teacher's education. Say that one. So I started that one, and then I used to go to the center. With that money, I used to manage myself. That is the last time I did college. Uh, from that place, I moved. I got opportunity for central leather institute. So I started as a project assistant, and then I moved all over the world, which is another side of the business. And there are many branches, dance, uh, public, right? So what I did during my PhD, uh, not a PhD, project assistant, uh, I started a, uh, as a research assistant. Assisting to the research uh, towards my boss funding, so my boss has industry collaboration from all over the world, uh, including you know, Malaysia uh, and uh, uh, Sri Lanka. And then Reliance Industry, we have uh, industry, we uh, you know technology, Malandi Labs, Arctic Chemicals in Chennai, as well as the previous laboratory. So, what is our objective? Our objective is. Either we create a municipal waste water, and then it's a refractory organics. That is very important. Point. So the refractory, what is meant by refractory organics? Any waste water that can be either put in a water cycle, or filtration, or carbon filtration, or whatever, uh, there are biological systems uh, to any type of waste water, and then organic. But refractory, the specific words very important. Uh, some of the uh, organics cannot be removed. Advanced technology, so that fast food technology, and uh, this is persist in the water. So that migrate to underground, and unknowingly uh, we are bringing uh, the persisted organics and uh, it's called uh, the inorganic elements as well. So basically, uh, we focused to eliminate the persisted organic compounds uh, by sequence of technologies, so which I am going to talk about. There is uh, different kind of waste water. Uh, which I had to do in my daily practice every day. Uh, basically, CSIR method for it. So, as you know, from some scientific industrial research, they they must focus for industry aspect. Well. So, I also focus on industry aspect for which one. And the nuclear waste specifically, we need a special technique to either preserve that waste uh, from other, you know, some nuclear. So. I leave this uh, nuclear waste, and uh, apart from that, I can focus in just on what I do. So this is basic technology which my my boss is doing always doing nuclear waste tank. Whenever the waste water comes, so he used to put a waste nuclear waste tank. So he collects the waste water, and he passes through this aerobic management system, and he followed by anaerobic system. So in that case, followed by accurate selection process. So followed by secondary clarifier, and then uh, we need to discharge the water. So in this case, what happened? We need a lot of, uh, you know, uh, lot of land space, and some of them. Sometimes, what happened? If you add some uh, load, high load, that uh, kill the back, you know, back it does. So it's a very uh, important thing to do. Other water, of course, I will come to the balance here. Uh, first, I will talk about uh, this one. This is a very important point, especially in developing countries. Uh, this important point I can say, I can discuss. And then I, what I challenge, what the, what the, what the challenges uh, I face to that I can give you opportunity so you can, you can focus on it. Right. So basically.
based on the biological problems, uh, we can overcome for adults. A uh, few I can indicate. I can even discuss about, uh, for example, first uh, microwave problems. We need to use microwave energy. So, in that case, we can even eliminate for this type of reactions. And there was a technology for a small amount of refined uh, energy. And also, we can uh, go for the ultrasonication, I mean, solarization process, as well as electrochemical process. We can do the electrodes and then, uh, and then eliminate this organic chemical. The thing is, the problem is, every each and every technology has uh, that limitation, own limitation. And, uh, uh, that certain limitation only they can work, and sometimes uh, the durability, long term durability is very important. So, based on these uh, issues, we used to go for this kind of uh, very, uh, you know, uh, this is ancient technology and the uh, most frequently used in the industries. So, simply we can just take the iron salt, the hydrogen peroxide, just and it that and it produces. Hydroxy uh, radical. That hydroxy radical can target the organics. So what happens? The refractory organics can break down into smaller molecules. And uh, when you pass through these smaller molecules to uh, biological system, so the biological can uptake the smaller molecules and uh, we can you uh, we can get for the clear one. Okay. So this is the ultimate goal. Uh, this is this process of you know uh, uh, challenging to recover. Uh, Catalyst which you put iron and the uh, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, once you put, uh, of course, uh, the reaction is done, so you cannot uh, recover it. So, what we thought, uh, this is a pattern process which I discussed, and there is some challenges you can work only with some certain figures, like uh, pH is 4. So, that means acidic, acidic, uh, you cannot go for the water treatment process. And also, when you, you know, neutralize the water, the acidic condition. Iron, whatever the iron without iron can precipitate as the iron hydroxide. So that contains secondary pollution. Uh, this process is not a uh, uh, it's also a challenging process. To overcome this process, what we did uh, let's start this uh, uh, research. And the uh, ultimate goal is uh, zero emission research in the other sector. So basically we work for uh, leather industry. Um, so one of the technology we develop in the technology transfer to many of the industries. That technology has come uh, in the Times of India, so I think 15th of March, uh, okay, 2013. So that technology is developed in 2011 to 12. So, two years in which we developed the technology, and uh, the technology is about the first report uh, for the carbon as produced hydroxy radical in the process of. Uh, only air. So we don't need to add any add any uh, metal catalyst and uh, you know, we don't need to add hydrogen peroxide only in the presence of compressed air, yeah, compressor, just a compressor, yeah, like cylinder we are adding the you know, uh, the pipe we are adding the compressor, yeah, right? That compressor air only uh, in the presence of carbon can produce hydroxide. That is the first report uh, we published in the world. You can see even the chemical physical chemistry chemical we put it in the Really just go to uh, few more uh, examples. So, in this, there is a lot of problems. Uh, when you want to uh, eliminate some you know, biological waste water, so of course you can include the biological substances like bacteria or uh, enzymes. So, on the top of the carbon, they need some support to sustain for long term application. In this process, even uh, we can use for useful water. So for this municipal municipal wastewater, uh, we developed a technology for two days and the best carbon capacity calculation. Uh, the react is uh, basically carbon, but the carbon especially we functionalize that particular functional group can uh, you know interact with this organism like uh like uh basis, uh, other uh, you know bacteria species are and so So that can uh, you know uh, remove for the particular organic so each and the, each and the different industries, they have their own chemicals, they have own you know, toxicity, their own complexity. So based on that complex, we can uh, address which kind of enzyme we need. So the enzyme or the bacteria can be uh, extracted from that particular place. For example, I can tell uh, in Tirupu or in Gujarat, uh, Rocky or Bacteria, we have that process. So in that area, uh, 
what is the industries uh, or what so what kind of chemicals they are using that particular chemical we you know uh, we take the organism from the particular soil so that can sustain for that chemical that we use uh, this is a pilot scale of my reactor which we developed in the green so this is my first reactor uh, fixed bed reactor which i used for purifying waste water uh, if you say chemical oxygen they are a few uh, hundred milligram per liter but uh, that is very challenging to remove the color so the color we try to eliminate for this uh, how much waste for the ecological problem so we completely eliminate it in the purifying waste water i remember uh, the organic carbon most uh, more and more something okay if you see by this animation the first Uh, you can see how what are the parameters and the, what complexity we get. So um, of course uh, we have designed with different metals, uh, the metals uh, and the earth of the metals. Like that we try to, uh, you know, I did my next to the reactor for only two days of the reactor uh, and the enzyme composition, biological, bacteria composition. Like that sequence of reactor can eliminate these three factory organic compounds. Also we got, uh, you know, Uh, we need to know the known compounds, which is, for example, uh, that in these laboratory different formulations, uh, molybdenum drugs they have different uh, organic, and the organic chemicals they have one for paracetamol and other. So each industry has different own chemicals, right? So uh, what I do? What I do? Solar sunlight is an enormous essential energy source, which can be cleansed and harvested and used for water purification process or production of energy. This is the process which we can use. From the concept, I have chosen this one. Uh, you know, this if you go the prospect of Aragon, uh, if you see the trend, trend of this 2011 to 2018, uh, 81. So you can uh, see the trend, the depletion of oil and uh, gas and coal. So this is the major issues uh, we are going to focus. We are going to face in the future. So 
which is very important making material. Uh, what are the causes, I mean, what are the, uh, you know, uh, requirements for making material? I always telling energy harvesting. It's not a simple, it's not easy. So we need to understand the particular uh, inorganic or organic elements. So mostly uh, both material use the inorganic or organic elements. So I can uh, explain few of them. I can do uh, One is uh, inorganic elements for Some of the organic, like the um, dice, most of the dice, they use the dice as well. So, uh, if you look at the dice, they can use the dice. It's like uh, other things, I can say carbon, uh, the carbon nitrate, and uh, uh, recently, the computer, uh, uh, the transistor is used in the double dice, right? Yeah. So, uh, like that, organic materials, they use the others, uh, others in the other And of course, we don't need a solar cell, right? Nowadays, organic solar cells are there. Now, collecting polymers also they use for them. Those are the two magic items. Uh, 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 I have found this for the most active material for harvesting solar cells at the one plus That is very important part. So, what I am doing, I'm, uh, you see that uh, cell is coming up from the camera. Uh, you can see the structures and the sizes. So, if you do the chance, if you do the task, Sir, can you can you do make small scale? Uh, one kind of meter to hundred meter. Of course, I can make it. What kind of size you want? Sir, can you able to make two thousand nanometer? Yes, I can make it. Sir, can you 
make cube? Yes, I can make cube different uh, sizes. Can you make different uh, spherical structures? Yes, uh, different uh, octahedral. So, what other structures you want? So, like that, I can play as a chemist. I can play, and uh, I, I use to check that how many sizes, how many uh, light can be absorbed by this material. So, design. Basically, my idea is to design the material. Uh, what I am designing here is the control morphology and sizes and also I can uh, modify the surface also I can create the defects for the material and the defects for the targets are very targets and the hydrogen uh, uh, you know, <coughs> so there is a uh, biggest problem for photo practice we need to make sure uh, the material whatever the material you are making that should not be you know electron and uh, charge in the Not be recombined. It is not recombined. Of course, the medium is good. So, for the recombination, to avoid the recombination, I tailor the material like that, you know, to change the morphology, to change the portion, tune the back, the creating the whole uh, to, you know, to abstract the electrons. So, once the abstract the electron, it cannot go and recombine at the positive charge. So, if you leave the electron, sometimes the electron goes down and then we come in with the positive the world. So the reaction may not happen and then it's only based on the case. Uh, one of the case studies I would like to hear for you. Uh, I made a copper cubes different sizes. For example, 50 nanometers to 5 nanometers. But that uh, four different cubes, four different sizes cubes, I replaced for a water screening. Uh, I got only few micro hydrogen so how much I got only 0 0.01 0 0.013 micromole per gram per minute. So you can compare with the existing reports. So I got only very less than So what I thought, uh, why not I can create a forest structure? Why not I create high aspect? So from this uh, you know cubes, I inspired and created a high aspect. So in this high aspect material, you can see. Uh, the red color I have highlighted here, 0.013 micropod. And here you can see 18 micropod. So, small initiation, I improved 0.013 to 18. So, that is the biggest achievement for me. Uh, to creating, you know, nano scale material. Uh, I came to the topic today. Uh, nano scale, when you make a nano scale material, uh, even we can uh, use a better light harvesting process. And I actually uh, this one uh, noted that uh, whatever the materials which I made that made by polymers like by polymers. Some negatives on the controlling polymers because the polymers can become the acticides uh, and they cannot uh, be completely replaced. So I want to try without the polymers, without any templates. So of course I made a good structures without template and then uh, I used parasitical which is uh, you know uh, the argument pharmaceutical. So, and I understand what is the parasitable, uh, you know, of it, uh, calculation, what are the compounds can be possible, which can be analyzed with HPLC, first initially, and then followed by liquid chromatography, mass spectroscopy, uh, with known, uh, you know, known calibration, known compound calibration. Based on the known cal compound calibration, I understand how much concentration is produced for this, uh, you know, organics. Right. Uh, this is the mechanism, how I design so only pure copper, copper 1 plus cannot be stable, right, as I told you. So I made with the covered with the copper 2 plus and then on the copper 2 plus I picked up with the you know, core and the shell structure with the copper. The copper can be, you know, extract the electrons and the, the reaction can go with copper 1 plus. So that the electron cannot be covered. So we can minimize this kind of uh, design. Uh, design also is important factor. I want to emphasize this one. Um, of course, uh, this is the first, uh, you know, report for photocopies. Uh, the, you know, a hydroxy radical can be produced, but hydroxy radical especially measured in the high performance liquid photography. So, first time uh, we actually developed these kind of techniques, uh, how we can extract the uh, you know, how we can perform uh, hydroxy radical production by high performance liquid photography. Usually, uh, the hydroxy radical production by, you know, ESR or EPR structure for the electron parameter equations. 
participant. But that is the sensitive technique and only few places are available. So uh, we do not uh, get access. For that reason, we develop this uh, you know, protocol. So if you want to really want to interest her, you can see my development. Uh, we made this protocol and uh, how we work. Um, of course, whatever the you know methods we develop, and uh, I have uh, developed the systematic protocol uh, can be control the structures without using any polymeric uh, without using any template. That's what I have mentioned surfactant and the template. Surfactant means the polymeric. So I avoided a few things and uh, I can able to produce different structures. So the different structures how because uh, in terms of activity I use the prime meter pen, the one of the you know concept of one uh, existing in the Japanese universe, and Japanese universe. So I took the particular arguments and the target up and uh, I have designed the four hundred two uh two point five four hundred nanometer to two point five. Micrometer, I think 2500 uh, nanometer. So that material, I all the materials, different materials, I put that kind of thing. Uh, and after step, uh, the catalytic activity, photo catalytic activity, and it's sunlight, uh, you know, solar light, and so on, solar light, uh, replace it. So if you see the specific activity of the crystalline size, of course, very important factor, size is the matter. Uh, I, I would like to emphasize here, so which we have used to map to the Maybe some of the more of the things that we have Right, and uh, so for, from the above uh, material, what I did, can I able to control with one cube? The cube can be, uh, you know, separate uh, on the fiber structure. So uh, I have, I did a systematic protocol, and uh, I want to, you know, the copper titan is gone, so which we need to understand. So excellently we uh, you know perform the reaction and uh, we stick around for that. Uh, again, you, know, you can you can see from the electron mapping. So from the electron mapping you can see the titanium and the uh, titanium dioxide and the copper oxide. So in the violet color. So you can see the violet color oxide. The copper oxide incorporate into onto the fiber, the nanofiber. So which can easily confirm the uh, the fluorescent green. The fluorescent green contains the copper fluids, small fluids, uh, which is stick on this uh, reddish color, reddish color titanium fiber. So, which we confirmed based on this B space, and uh, the small B space can interact inside the uh, particles. Also, we confirmed the titanium copper bonding by synchrotron technique, which is uh, a you know, only particle instrument available in the world. So, we confirmed the, the copper copper bonding, copper titanium. This important analysis, uh, which basically we call the uh, Zainas. Uh, it's extended absorption near edge spectrum, Zainas means. And uh, exhaust means extended uh, Fourier absorption near spectrum. Uh, one more point, uh, which is a newly developed instrument, uh, most of them don't know. Uh, this is the first principle which we, uh, which we developed by Professor Ginto Otaki. Uh, he's a newly developed making library. So thousands of uh, materials, inorganic materials, is making the uh, you know, uh, electron traps, uh, electron traps on the protection gap of bottom position. This is the first principle uh, is uh, making and uh, this is fingerprint of metal oxide. We can uh, trap the electrons on the protection gap of bottom position. No one is a leader in this kind of uh, experiment. So he is trying to uh, assemble the like that is making electron transformation that measure may uh, reverse double beam photoacoustic electron spectroscopy. So uh, that the instrument can measure uh, the energy resolved distribution of electron traps electron traps and the induction of bottom So how we can do uh, basically he has a sample vial and they put on the samples and they give pause through this methanol. I know methanol is not giving directly. So methanol vapor is giving. So the sample should not contain any oxygen. So if there is any oxygen, uh, because uh, as a photochemist, there is oxygen. 
message i want to uh, inform you guys first set your goals what you want to pick up because i grown up here you know lower middle class family of them came and achieved some of them in the research aspect first i did not achieve completely uh, i need to go a long way long journey still need to travel uh, i need to work hard to address some sustainable uh, you know something we have to leave for our younger generation So that's why I have written with this, some of the object of quotes, uh, not all the, all the other things. First, uh, he would like to say that quote, green, right? So green, if you focus what you want to do, and the set, step up your, uh, you know, dreams. Sometimes, uh, you know, you need to learn continuously acquire knowledge. That is very important. And uh, just acquire knowledge is not sufficient, and uh, work hard for your dreams. Of course, uh, you may fall down sometimes, and they don't prepare, uh, prepare your failures. So, if you fall down, I'm just get up, get up. Get up. Uh, and you need to uh, so, you know, run your uh, goals. And, uh, of course, fight until you reach your uh, destination, or uh, whatever your goal, or whatever your dream, or whatever you want to uh, do your entire generation or your family. Uh, that is depends on your own commitment. Of course, whatever you do, uh, you focus on uh, that particular thing and you do it uh, your own idea, own way. Okay. Then you may succeed your goals, uh, whatever you do. Uh, this is my, my uh, message to you guys. Some of them you can learn from uh, various countries. If you really uh, know the information and really work hard for the society, of course you can learn many cultures based on uh, your hard work. can travel around the world uh, based on their, their policy, based on many trust uh, available, many funding agencies, they want to give you as a scholarship to uh, address some problem to the society. And uh, some of the groups, uh, which is uh, CSIR, then my strategy group, and uh, my UK group, there is Royal Society, Politics, uh, and uh, MGS Plus Fellowship. Well, uh, these are my publications, more about me. These are my funding sources. 
previous and past and present some of them in the future as well. And uh, this is one point uh, as they told uh, within six of that. So maybe I can find it. I don't want to do that for more. Um, so we can learn from the Japanese uh, you know, uh, their own country. They are keeping very good and systematic protocol and the people are calm and the genuine and believable. And uh, yeah, this is the things I really like from as Korean culture, uh, they have their own culture, uh, they're still following and uh, they're weeping for their younger generation. Of course, they want to disseminate their knowledge to young generation, they're more eager to disseminate knowledge to young generation. If they, they don't want to listen also, they want to do uh, whatever they learn. So at the same point, uh, whatever I took the pictures, uh, may be useful for you or not, different ways they are collecting different boxes or different color uh, garbage uh, covers. For example, uh, the waste from your food waste, they collected a uh, you know, orange color bag. Uh, some, some of the head bottles, they collected a blue bag. And some of them, uh, they collected like different colors bags. So each one you have to put on the each bag. So you should not have put in this uh, you know, orange or blue orange. If you put, that is the biggest problem they keep in front of your door and it will stay for a long time and maybe they will make it penalty. And uh, you should not throw oil, uh, you know, throw oil to the sink. What happens, you put the uh, oil, so the sink can black all the you know, oily content of water. Uh, it black and uh, some of the water cannot you know, flow. So what they do, they have sensors. Uh, each apartment, they have sensors on the collective tank. So every time they are pointing, which room is doing this kind of things. So it's also important to have a document. And of course, this point, why I want to tell you different ways, you can try different ways. Whatever the uh, you know, biodegradable, you can make as a manual and then you can use uh, we are uh, 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 and whatever the reason, like the glass, don't forget the glasses on the street and the roads. So that might uh, help for another person. So in the point that I learned, and uh, maybe uh, needles and lights, so you can dispose of it in a proper way. And uh, or if you don't know, just uh, ask the, you know, the people uh, who are collecting. People say you can just say and then in the waste uh, I want to throw. So they do recycle. And of course, thank you so much for your understanding. And uh, if you have any queries, please uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for the opportunity to discuss with you. Thank you, Matt. Very nice presentation. So instead of uh, Instead of, uh, you know, uh, just giving information, I, I might ask all of them if you have any clarification. Uh, anything if you want, uh, I am happy to support you. Thank you, sir. Uh, fantastic. Your yeah, participants, you can uh, interact with you. Please, please. If you have any yeah, questions or doubts or uh, 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 any discussions, please, please proceed. Thank you, sir. Unmute your audio and uh, speak. Is it from uh, different countries or different countries? Different countries. Uh, I see uh, they have 
uh, you know, called uh, the three countries they have called. For example, I can tell you, uh, if you are working in Nanamati, yes, if you really want to, you know, I, as I told you, the instrument director is funny. So, from that institute itself, they have funding. So, what they are, uh, you know, every year they are call, calling, uh, every now and then, that call we need to approach to them and uh, we need to write a uh, proposal to them. So, whatever your proposal, you submit to them and uh, they also correct it and submit to that particular institute. So, of course, we can get it from them. And you can travel to them and analysis for yourself. If you are working in Canada, especially for the countries. So, that is the name of the Institute for Catalysis. Uh, in the Institute for Catalysis, not only for the countries, right? Uh, actually, they are giving uh, all the departments, especially who are working in the catalysis. So, they are giving uh, funding from their own trust. So, that kind of things uh, you can get. And uh, of course, uh, as you said, uh, different industries, UK government. Uh, UK government, they are giving uh, scholarship. Uh, they are giving uh, Indo UK funding. Indo Japan. Uh, Japanese government is doing And the uh, Indo Russian project. Um, Indo Philippines project recently I got the information. So, like that, from Indian tire, we can uh, go for that one. If you want the individual funding, so directly as I told you about the Maybe you can approach sir. As I know the information I Maybe I have. If you want to, you can discuss now. Okay, thank you. Any other questions or discussions? With your permission, may I share my website to... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I have shared my... So, if you want to know, uh, you know, uh, know more about me, you just need the list and uh, whatever the funding I have received, I have mentioned in the website. Also, whatever, wherever I go to the place and uh, in the gallery, yeah, my papers, if you want to know the website, my patents, and uh, maybe regular updates also. Uh, yeah, yeah, please, if you have any queries, please uh, keep in touch. If I, uh, in case for your master student, if you are a master student, in case if I get the future fundings, um, maybe you can uh, you know, contact me for your uh, PhD in this type. That might be useful for master students. And of course, SRM is giving 23,000 per month to do research. So you keep an eye, SRM goes to website or uh, April, May section. I mean, May, June section, uh, sorry, April, May, and uh, August, September section. So keep on eye if you want to do PhD. Uh, uh, so uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your nice presentation and information. And uh, you are a motivational speaker. <laughs> you, you, you motivate a lot uh, for students and as well as faculty. Uh, same so, like yeah, me. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure, sure. That is, that is we are doing for our society. The, this is the thing we are conducting uh, many webinars, vehicles, conference, and many things. Yeah. Whenever I, I, I was studying, uh, when I get up, it's just, uh, very because uh, whenever I go and I, I present the presentation, so they are speaking not like me, no. Not like that, but uh, whenever the, you know, those students start, so I have more intuitive problems when you are But when you give you know, up everything and you come up with the case and you remove all your fears here, Particularly, you need to visit some foreign country because. Uh, 
because some countries they won't care about uh, english just they are uh, thinking about the this communication language uh, particularly japan japan china europe countries yeah because i visited some countries so they they are <laughs> they are doing uh, uh, one job like uh, uh, they are developing their uh, language and uh, many things they are reporting thesis uh, and the articles also in chinese and japanese like that. yeah that's what i am saying yeah, India, as I, I would like to say, there are many Indians are here. Uh, we are Indians. So we have multi language. And uh, even for example, if we have you know, Hindi. So don't worry about that. Uh, Hindi, I have no Whatever you know, just And uh, sometimes uh, you are in mother tongue and you are okay, uh, talking. I'm just saying that's the uh, that's name. That is, that is good. So I have some questions from your presentation. So I had some uh, some information and some uh, ideas from your presentation because I am also doing some border catalyst work. So I am happily see some artificial photosynthesis in your slide and uh, water splitting uh, and many other uh, like uh, graphene graphene oxides and the copper oxide copper sulfate like that. So. Um, so you you design many nano uh, particles, nanoscale particles, right? Uh, using copper oxide. So which which uh, okay? Some graphene, right? Graphene and titanium dioxide, also, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which which one is more efficient? Because you did uh, many photocatalytic activity reactions for many. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am asking for artificial photosynthesis because uh, uh, this is hot topic in nowadays. Uh, uh, they are uh, uh, they are doing many uh, many foreign countries, not not only in India, in foreign countries like. Uh, uh, developed countries they are focusing on artificial photosynthesis particularly they are doing some single side or single atom photocatalysis like that so did you try any single atom or single side of uh, photocatalysis uh, because it's challenging to But we need to take over to commercial purpose, right? Because, um, uh, yeah, because we need clean energy. We are focusing many, many new things like uh, uh, hydrogen generation or uh, uh, many things, right? So uh, we should improve our efficiency as well as our technology. So that is very important, right? Because so I visited some countries, they, they focusing this uh, new uh, new areas, uh, how to improve uh, clean environment, how to improve this clean energy. So 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 many new things. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. 
So that is clean energy of the building. The real time of the building. And based on the composition, making composition. Uh, for example, uh, they are making right recently uh, the Bristol. So he only did the one. The Bristol group uh, is already formed. Uh, Similar way, uh, even we can go for the environmental purification. Of course, uh, now we are using light energy uh, in our drinking water, right? That is also commercial. So, like that, I need to understand some material, like a silver or a And sometimes we can interpret this uh, you know, uh, abundant and economically, economically uh, Yeah, yeah. They, they are using some photocatalyst for uh, environmental yeah. cleaning. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they they coated some nanomaterials on the uh, wall, the building wall, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, titanium dioxide coated. Uh, so, so we also need to focus in, in India. We need to focus uh, this thing. So that is a very important. Uh, Actually, uh, to be honest, uh, yeah. I have not tried this photocopy. Okay. Uh, for me, it's a challenge. I am still working for the academic side. Okay. And just improving previous, uh, you know, applicable materials. Okay. Just improving, either improving or harvesting the energy. Okay. So maybe one point I was talking about. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, how much I can improve? Okay. Even for my case, simple pyrrole molecule, simple pyrrole molecule, you okay. are able to achieve only 45%. Okay. So I was so surprised, I was not able to remove even 50%. Mm -hmm. so if you see my Kenkat Kenwar okay. and uh, JMC okay. so all the works, I could not be able to achieve even 50%. Okay. Oh, yeah. So like that, my focus is not how much I am achieving. What kind of fragment it is? So the fragment is, uh, uh, you know, uh, affecting to the environment as well. So okay. that's the uh, okay. Because uh, I need to focus on getting the most highest level level. Okay. Maybe, maybe I. Yeah, sure, sure. Of course, I have to learn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any other questions from audience? I think no. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact uh, through email or for mobile number because he already posted in his uh, website uh, in Sabha. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Kartikeyan, <laughs> for your nice presentation. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You are making good platform without uh, you know expecting anything. Yeah, we uh, don't get <laughs> but uh, we are yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you to all audience also. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.